Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Did you know that you can play the game Genshin Impact through Parallels through the Windows 11 ARM Virtual Machine? And this actually performs not bad. There are some graphical issues which you can fix, which I'm going to show you how to fix today in this video. And there are graphical issues which have not been solved, for example, this kind of light bloom. However, if you wanted to be able to play Genshin Impact using full keyboard and mouse or controller support, and you want to get the superior graphics of the full Windows 11 desktop version of the game, then you're going to be following this tutorial. And this is basically going to show you start to finish how to install the Windows 11 ARM virtual machine, how to get the Genshin Impact launcher working, and also how to get the best graphics settings so you don't have the flickering screen issue. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. If you do make a purchase after following this link, then I'm going to receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I make. So once you click the link, you'll get to this parallels page. What we can do is click the buy now button. We can click new license here. So at this stage, what I would do is to press the compare button here. And here you can see a comparison between the standard and the pro edition. I'll say that for most people, the standard edition is enough. You only really need to allocate eight gigabytes and four CPU cores in order to get the best out of gaming. However, if you want to take the most advantage of your system's resources, then you're going to need the Pro Edition. So let's say that we make a purchase of the Pro Edition and we'll click Buy Now. Here we have the option to enter a coupon code. If you enter the coupon code Apple Wiki 10, then you're going to get a 10% discount. However, if you don't want to make a purchase, you can also download a free trial, which I'm going to do today. Make sure that this is the right software for you. And if you do decide to make a purchase, then make sure to follow that link again. So here I'm going to click Download Free Trial. And then we're going to open up Finder and then go to our Downloads folder, double click on Install Parallels Desktop.dmg, and then we're going to have this installer. So I'm going to double click on Install Parallels Desktop, and it's saying here that this is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open it? Press Open. Here we're going to press the Accept button, and then this is going to go ahead and start downloading Parallels Desktop. So now it's saying here that it's installing Parallels Desktop. Here we're going to enter our local user password, press OK. Here it's initializing, and now we're going to go through the installation assistant. So the first thing it's going to do is to download and install Windows 11 ARM. So so what I'm going to do here is to click the install Windows button and it's going to go ahead and create a brand new virtual machine. So what's cool about Parallels is that you don't have to register for the Windows Insider program. This is just directly downloading Windows 11 ARM from the internet. So just wait for this to complete. We're downloading four gigabytes of data. So once the download's complete, it's automatically going to go ahead and complete an installation. What we're going to do here is press click to continue. And here we're going to see that we need to accept the Windows license agreement, press accept. And now you can already see that we've logged into Windows 11 in this little window here. I can minimize this browser window and you can see that this is the Windows 11 ARM desktop. We have our internet connection, we have sound working and all of the integrations are all there. If you want to full screen this, just press the green button here. If the resolution's wrong, you can right click here, click on display settings. And then normally what I like to do is to tweak the scale down to 100% so it looks a little bit more like a standard Windows desktop. So once Windows is fully installed, what we're going to do is open up the Microsoft Edge browser and we're going to go ahead and go to the MiHoYo website. So I'm going to type in Genshin Impact into Microsoft Bing, and then we're going to find the MiHoYo website here, or you can follow the link in the description in order to get to this page. So basically, once we are here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the PC download. So we kind of want the Windows PC version of the game. This is the desktop version. And we're going to download this installer first. So just let that download. And we're going to install this as if it is a standard PC game. And we're going to be using the kind of Windows x64 build to do this. So once that file's downloaded, we can just click on here to open it, or you can go to your downloads folder. Just go ahead and double click on this application that's been downloaded, Genshin Impact Install, double click. We're gonna allow the app to make changes, press yes. And basically we can now click I have read and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy, and then press install now. So this is gonna install within the Parallels Virtual Machine under this folder. So click install now, and now it's saying it's installing. Now we can press run now. So now here we're going to press get game and it's going to start the download process. So 56.84 gigabytes is quite a big file download. So just let that run before it completes. So once we're ready, we're going to go ahead and press the launch button here. So now we're met with the login screen. Just type in your username and password and then start the game. Agree to the terms of service and privacy policies, press accept. Now we're going to enter our server, press confirm. Now you can click to begin. Now it's downloading extra resources, just a 350 megabyte patch. So we're now in game and one thing you notice is that there are definitely some issues with the kind of textures and there are invisible objects, etc. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and fix this issue now. So what we're going to do is to quit out of the game and press confirm. Then we will quit out of the game and exit. And then we're going to shut down the virtual machine. 
And then we are going to click on this parallels icon at the top here and go to control center. And then within our virtual machine that we created, we're going to click on this cog icon here and we want to click on the hardware tab. So it'll be in general, click on hardware and then scroll down to boot order. And then we're going to change some settings here, click advanced. And we want to enter a boot flag. We're going to use this one, which is video.untrimmed underscore dynamic underscore C buffers equals one. So make sure to copy this exactly type this into the window here and then press OK and then close this and then we're going to relaunch the virtual machine. So once we're here, we're going to relaunch Genshin Impact, press yes and then go back into the game. Then click the launch button. So basically the menu doesn't flicker as it did before. So the graphics are rendering correctly. And we're now gonna go ahead and enter the game. So as you can see, the game now renders correctly. The walls are no longer visible and the textures are no longer flickering. So that boot option has basically fixed this problem. So when you're playing this game, I do advise you to go to settings and then tweak some of the graphic settings because we're running this in a virtual machine. It's going to require a little bit more performance. So I'd advise you to put it down to the lowest, change the FPS to 60, take VSync off and kind of leave it at these settings. So as you can see under the lowest graphic settings, the performance is still not too bad. However, there is an issue with the kind of bloom on this lighting that can be distracting, but it does mean that you can still play the game. However, there are distracting lights there. If you want to find an alternate way to play Genshin Impact, there are a couple of other ways. There's the yet another anime game launcher version, which uses Wine, which is gonna work substantially better. There is also now the option to use Crossover. And of course, you can also use Play Cover to sideload the mobile application, which can potentially give you superior performance. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.